Well, welcome back. It's uh, still the Art TV Breakfast Show, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you see, we live in a country that we are playing with a number of challenges, and everyone comes up with, or a number of people come up with different solutions to try mm -hmm. and help us. You know, but then now this is one that is very, very, very important, very close to home because um, the power situation in the country has been something that uh, everybody is complaining about. Okay, so today we have in the house. Um, uh, Innovators and entrepreneurs. Now, I must say that when I came across, I saw a video of uh, Power Alerts. And when I saw this video, it was quite, when I saw the idea, I was like, wow, this is quite cool. I felt like, okay, maybe I'd want something that will bring more power. But then, yes, they are not entirely responsible for getting you power, but then they, they can help you manage manage that power okay so in the house today we've got amanda and moses of power alerts it's great to have you guys in the you house welcome. wonderful wonderful i must Thanks say um, quite innovative mm. quite innovative i must say okay let's get to know what exactly is power alerts all about uh well basically power alerts is a uh, is a platform we want to introduce that would basically help nigerians manage and uh uh, our aim is just to erase the shock and anxiety of not knowing when the light would come and go. I think it's something that has lived with Nigerians forever. Mm -hmm. When you go on Instagram and, and Twitter and, and Facebook, you, you see funny memes of Nigerians making fun of, ah, mm -hmm. I don't know when the light would come or go. You know? So we want to you know, bring in some sort of accountability you know, of knowing when it would come and when it would go and see if we can manage what we have up until we get to where we need to be. Before you go on, I, mm. I just I just listened to you. you know, manage what you have. I heard some you talk within the week. They were actually discussing about the fact that we are tired of managing what we have. Like, okay, fine, let's get used to it. Is it not like making people comfortable with the power situation, basically? Well, I think I think one of the things that uh, I think is a problem is lack of information. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, when it comes to power, I think I've done quite a lot of research around it, mm -hmm. and you know, we've come a long way. Uh, the present Minister of Power, uh, Minister Fashola, ha has put an incredible. He's got a really nice strategy that will take us from where we are today to where we, you know, to, we'll see a reasonable progress in the next four years. And the president has stipulated that our target for the next. 2019 is going to be 10,000 megawatts. Mm -hmm. you know, so it wouldn't happen overnight. There's, there's, things like this take time. Mm -hmm. right, you can't just come in and just build a house, a skyscraper. Mm -hmm. it, has to go, it has to be some foundation that would go in. Mm -hmm. you know, but the thing that is most crucial and important is having people that think and uh, strategizing to make things better. Mm -hmm. you know, you okay, know, so, you know. okay, cool. Amanda, now what inspired you to leave your country, come to Nigeria to uh, be before, this before you, before you go on with that question, we have a caller. Okay, okay. all right. Caller. Mm -hmm. And don't forget the phone lines are open. I'll call the numbers for you after this call. Shegun from Ogun State. Hello. Uh, hello. Hi, Shegun. How are you? Yeah, hi. Good morning, Mike and Jairo. Good morning. Good morning. How's all your uh, state? Good morning, guys. Um, I, I, I think I've seen something about this talk. Uh, uh, a few days ago, and I I like the idea, but the thing is, is there a possibility that something like this can work? Considering the fact that this is a country where the government they don't even know the kind of infrastructure they have in place, mm -hmm. they ready to share information or information like this with the with the private company. Uh, but they're ready to let people know when there will be no power. Mm. We still have a major power deficit in this country. We have to, for up to four days, we do not have light. Do you think they will be willing to tell them that Nigerians so don't expect light for the next four days? Mm. Because all of the power alert is saying that they are going to tell people going to expect power and when they are expected to be a power cost. So do you think Nigerians are ready for this technology? Thank you, guys. All right. Would you like to answer his okay. question? Could Amanda. you just paraphrase that? For yeah, me? I he didn't said, quite get all okay. of it. He was talking about information. Mm -hmm. Now, you're talking about it's information based. You want mm -hmm. to give people information. How mm -hmm. do you access the information you want to give to people? Because he's talking about the government. Right. How would they get? Because even they themselves are not, you know, they're not so arranged. Kind of in fact, they, they are not so organized in such a way that mm -hmm. they, they might even say they don't even have that kind of information. Mm -hmm. So, how mm -hmm. do you expect to give people, to, offer, uh, to, to allow people to have access to the information? There's two parts to that, my answer in that. The first one was Fashola actually um, went, the Minister, Fa Minister Fashola went on to um, public TV and said that he instructed the discos to make this information um, 
available for people so that they could um, they could manage their, their power and that was a sort of a, a, an instruction that he gave to the discos. What we want to do is base power alert staff within the distribution companies working with the controllers so actually as they're choosing to take power off we've got that information there and then and we think we've got about a, a, a 12 to 10 minute lead in time mm -hmm. to then send out group SMS's or voicemails to, to leap through people's phone. It's instant and people will say right okay I've got seven eight minutes what can I do with that? Have I mm. pressed my clothes? Have I, you know, what, what do I need? I've just, I, I don't know how long this is going to be off for, but I know that I've got some very important things that I need to, to do. Mm. Just, just as a, um, I, I live in London, I get a power cut once a year, maybe, okay. and I get that text. You know, yeah, <laughs> once a year. And, and I get upset when it's once a year. You know? you get, you get, I get upset. What, what happens if it's three months? months. Three months. Three months. How, long three months. Been, how long have you been in Nigeria? Well, no, this is my second, my, my, my second visit. I came in January and I okay. couldn't believe the amount of power. And there was just no warning. So how, how, do, how, do, how do children study? Mm -hmm. How do they get their education when the lights go off? They've got a piece of homework that needs to be in tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. You know, and I, I, it was just fascinating for me and I just thought, you know, the, the idea that was so simple and actually with a simple piece of information you can live your life in a much better standard. There's just no way that you're going to up the power that you need for this country overnight. It's no. not going to happen. No, the best solution for us is we'll be out of business. Yeah. That's where we want Nigeria to be. I wow. Think, yeah, wow. I think I'll come in very quickly, putting something from what the man has said. Mm -hmm. When he went out, it's been going viral for the past two days on Facebook, most especially. Mm -hmm. And we see comments, I see comments about people saying it's a long process. You know, mm -hmm. you're talking about the discos and the transmission, you know, the step down transformers. Mm -hmm. The thing is, We've done quite a lot of research around this. It's been behind the scenes for quite a long time, mm -hmm. you know, and they know because we don't have enough power. We don't, as of yet today, okay. so we, I think we are below 4,000 megawatts. Mm -hmm. That's far, far below, like 1,005. Lower than 1,005. You know, we I said the last, uh, you know, you know, so, last week or so. You see. So what they do is they ration, they send out this, they generate from the gang to generate, they, tra they transmit and they distribute. So each these schools get a certain amount of power and they in, in turn send it out to their constituencies, okay. right? So that in what their country room, they, they take it from me and give here and take it from me and give here and take it from me. So they know they have this prior knowledge. Okay. So what okay. we want to do is just tap in that knowledge. Mm. So Nigerians will tell the Nigerians, okay, it will go off now, you should know, right? Mm. And added value to this is I've lived my life or all, all my life in this country and I know Information is power, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. You know, and in absence of information, people are quick to judgment. You know, there was a time where it was like a blast month, there was a huge vandalism somewhere in the south, south, okay. south, exactly. and it brought things down to a drastic point. And people didn't know. The information oh, didn't true. go as far as it, as it should. So people were in darkness for weeks. There was no explanation. There was nothing. No one was saying, ah, you know, guys, did something has happened. Just give us time. We're, we're trying to fix it. Nigerians were just left in darkness without an explanation, right? So I think it's we important. We didn't ask. We're they, used to it. You like, know, we yeah. didn't ask. Like, you know, I think we should, we should bring in some sort of accountability. We deserve yeah. that. We've come to that point where even if, as I know there's a lot of people like myself, mm. you know, young people like myself that, we see these things every day, we've lived with it all our lives. We need to start making a change. They, should, they should need to start listening to us and giving us a chance to say, this is not right, we need to, I have a solution to this. I think I can do better than you are doing. Mm -hmm. Give me a chance and I'll fix this, mm -hmm. right? So that's, that's what it's about. You know, we, there's a major gap. We've followed up Fashula's uh, uh, many, many uh, video conferences. And he said to several times that the discos have the responsibilities to play when it comes to customer care. Because people don't know, don't get informed, you know. So uh, that's that's what we, that's the way we want to come in. Keep Nigerians informed on their day to day. If there's an issue, we let you know there's an issue. At least you know. At least you can you don't understand. At least you can wait and know that this has happened. Another thing is that Nigerians most times see this as a government responsibility. It's solely government responsibility. So it's not just a government thing, mm -hmm. you know. It's our individual effort. Imagine if I, if there was power last now, and then you call me and I say. This, there's an issue that there was some sort of vandalism, you know, but we all have to wait. They're already working on it, yeah. you know. But I will also advise you, if you see anybody trying to go and vandalize this pipeline, tell them who, 
Because if mm. they vandalize, all of us would be in darkness. Yeah. It's not the government's okay. responsibilities. It's our shared responsibilities as Nigerians to take care of those in, games, games, police, those infrastructures, mm. right? So we want to brush it off as uh, just the government's responsibility, but our individual collective responsibility by dis dis dispatching this information, so Nigerians can together know that we, we can move from here to there. Okay. You know? mm. Really, really lovely idea, by the way. I, 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 I listened to what the caller said, and he mentioned something. I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, okay, fine. And yes, how would you get such information? You've talked about that, but um, on the long run, on the long run, what do you um, stand to gain mm. from letting? <laughs> yeah, because I, I, I'm, I'm sure mm. there are oppositions like, okay, fine, you called and you tell me that, oh, there's not going to be power, this and that. What about situations where it seems like, oh, there'll be no power available for a long time? What can you do in that situation? Well, I think, you know, if people have information, they can, um, it, it's informed, isn't it? I think mm. people feel really, when, when you've got no information at all, you're just angry and confused and, as Moses said, you kind of get, you get angry at the wrong people. Mm. And I think if you inform people, give them the right information, you can say, okay, I'm not going to have power for two weeks. How do I manage my life now? Well, what can I do? What yeah. can't I do? How do I arrange my diary? Or, exactly. You know, it, so, again, that's just kind of empowering people to make the most of what they've got rather than just saying, here I am, I don't have anything. You know, oh, yeah. yeah. You know, because mm -hmm. I, I, because a number of people, um, I, we should mention out there that um, Powerless is not saying that we are, they will give you power. No. no. Right? Let's make that clear. Yeah. They are saying that, look, we'll alert you on help you when manage. power comes in and go, you, do you know, have you heard it like up Nepal, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. We, we want to erase up Nepal. <laughs> good. Yeah. 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 Good. Why? Why? Okay, now, <laughs> <laughs> now, no, we, we, we are not there. Did you know, this it, is the 21st century, five, four, right? Three, two, one. There's light. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you nice, know? nice. Now, okay, let's, let me use, uh, I think, uh, three days ago in my house, that was uh, at about um, 12 a.m., mm -hmm. you know, you know, 12 p.m., you know, getting to the morning, 1 a.m., and between, in a space of 10 minutes, there was the light came in or the power came in about six times you know it was just <laughs> poor pa, poor pa. and you know we have this notion i just feel that someone maybe took some you know uh, took some alcoholic drink or something and then person just there by the liver <laughs> and just there. <laughs> okay no. you know we, we just have yeah. you know in a situation like that mm. now we, we we don't actually know maybe it might be it might be for like I said vandalism someone might have vandalized mm. some you know maybe some optic cables or something somewhere mm. but then in a particular kind of in a situation like that whereby we don't whereby it's it's it that times in it's the inconsistent it's fluctuating yeah, yeah. that much how would you manage that kind of a situation? Let, let, let me answer that okay We've had such questions, similar questions like this, because Nigerians, you know that Nepal can't, I'll, that's, I'll use the word Nepal because that's what... Yeah, we come to our people, people need to change Nepal. It can be, 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 it can be or whatever, it can be your shongo. Nigerians, you know it's not Nepal. Uh -huh. It's been privatized, it's, it's been, this, you know, there's a distribution company. The that, distribution. That, yeah, like mm. Pitching and all the, all the rest, there's mm. the generation company, there's the transmission companies, right? So, the thing is, we all know that Nepal, let me use La, La Nepal, can take it, they can, you can have a power cut five times in one minute. Mm. You know, and people say, all right, in that time, what, what will happen? Then you keep sending in SMSs, right? But, but during our research, we've gone to this local distribution company. I've asked them, I've, I've been there, I've asked them, the operator, I said to them, why is it that most times light to go off five minutes? What is, what is the problem? What can you explain to me? This is critical for me, you know? And he said to me, uh, those things happen in similar times when it happens is because maybe they're trying to test something. Like, just like saying, there are three, there are, I have three lines here. I want to see if there's light in three of them. So it takes something here. It's trying to see if it, which is, is stable, right? Mm -hmm. That's when you get, it, it comes and it goes, you know, but you don't know that's what he's doing, right? Yeah. So open to guess one that's stable. So, you know, so it, that, it happens. But what Nigerians should know that it, they know, right? But, in everything in life, I think in every, basically everything, like, there's no always a 100% certainty. certainty there's always, okay. you, I think it's best you work by on probability, right? Okay. Because it's a long line from the distribution outlet to the down to the transformers to the wire poles. So yeah. it's a long, it's a long road, right? So what we're responsible, what we'll be responsible uh, for is letting people know: Should you have light? Is it from here or there? Mm. So if you'd call us and say, or, I, or you get an SMS and say. Why well, I don't have light, you know, we'll tell you, we'll, we'll look at you where you agree that, we'll know if you should have light. But if you're supposed to have light, you don't have light, we'll tell you, okay, well, it's from your transformer, 
Okay, yes. Got, you may have a local, yeah, local oh, problem. Okay. But most times, why is it poor? You know, most times the fuse could be overloaded and you just bust. Yeah. Now, mm. the street will be in darkness in for a couple of days, but others have light, have right? Exactly. So we can tell you, it is not from here. It should have light, but it's from a transformer. So people should come along together and get it fixed. Get most it fixed. of these power cuts happen as well. The ones that happen five five times in three minutes. Can Nine you minutes. give an alert on that? No, we won't. Oh, you, 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 okay. Okay. Just, yeah. So if you don't okay. get yeah. 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 I haven't had an alert, so yeah. I sh it, I, it, it should mean that I should have light. Oh, yeah. So then you can phone in, and then that starts that investigation trail, yeah. okay. rather than sitting there thinking, should I have power, shouldn't I have power? Oh, but okay. nobody's flagged it up, so yeah. nothing's done for yeah. days, because right. nobody's reported it. So. But um, information is an upgrade, true that, but um, mm. as a psychologist, have you looked at the situation like, what if, yes, it makes things better, I know what to do now, but what of the downsides? Having the knowledge of, oh, okay, now I know what to do, or this is what I can do, but okay, there's nothing I can really do to influence the final solution to this problem. It's just going to be there and continue like that. What are the, the advantages and disadvantages of giving people information? Can I answer that? Because Amanda is though almost, is, he's always in London, right? Okay, all right, okay. <laughs> true that, true that, true that. Yeah. Someone yeah. that's always around. Uh, but I, I, I need to say that. We should all comment fashion like he's doing a wonderful job, right? Mm -hmm. Before his time, you get situations whereby they will build a power plant in, in Lagos and have the, the feed comes from the south south. And they have to run pipelines all the way from the south south to the to Lagos. Mm -hmm. thousands of miles, right? The infrastructure, like that, there's always gonna be insecurity. There's always gonna be a time where people because you can't police that feed from that there stretch. to there, mm -hmm. you know. So mm -hmm. common sense tells you, if I'm going to build a power plant, let the power plant be here and let the feed be here. Where I get the fuel from or the gas from, let it be clear so we can be, you know, properly managed, right? So I've heard most of his highest interviews and he says, what we're looking at, what we're looking at, because there are a lot of investors, people that want to, want to invest in, in the power in Nigeria now, what we're looking at, we want to look at the best part of Nigerians, where is best for solar. So if you want to invest in solar, we put you there. You go to Kano or wherever, we think the sun hits more, right? If you want to invest in the power plant or whatever you want to do, we we've strategically put things in place for you, right? So they are putting, it, uh, there's, there's something going on. Nigerians don't know that. Mm. But people are working, you know, he's not, you know, he, he, we all see how far he, what he did in Lagos State, right? So mm. he's working and if people get or know those information, it would be better. I know mm. those things, right? I feel him very, I know, I know this information. That's why I'm okay. You know, I wouldn't cry about now because I know something will be done, you know, in, 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 the, okay. in the nearest future. Okay, okay. I, I was actually, that? um sorry, I was talking about the disadvantage from a psychologist's perspective. I was talking about the individual, to be precise. Okay. Yeah. Like, okay, now you have the information. I, re I rephrase the question. Yeah. Now you have the information and there's nothing you can do about it. What is the effect on the individual? Well, I don't think you, there isn't anything you can do about it. You, mm -hmm. you, you as individuals, we can't change the country's power supply. None of us can. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a combined effort, I think, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, so, but the feeling that you're part of something, um, that, OK, I don't have power at the moment, but hey, do you know what? Somebody over there does, and I had it yesterday. You know, so we're, we're sharing this burden. Mm -hmm. And I think, actually, one of the things as a community um, Nigerians are very good at it. It's community. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You know, okay, know. It, it, in Britain, it's, it's a very different structure. You know, we're very individualistic. Uptight. You know, <laughs> so I think, you know, by sharing this information and working together, people will get to where they want to get to and feel they're part of something. And I think the way it's set up at the moment, I think this is the gap that Power Alerts feels, is it's them and us. It's us without power okay. and them that control it. And there's, there's, there's this gap in between. And I think that's where Power Alerts wants to sit, is in between saying, okay, yeah, they're doing this. You've probably learned a bit today about what fashion is doing. Um, so, okay, I can be part of this. Mm. Yeah, I can withstand this. All oh, right. Okay, okay, now, so in what way, now, Power Alerts, in what way, what kind of support would you guys need? From either from the people or from the government? government. What kind of support would you need to make what you're doing more, to make yourself more efficient? Uh, to make yourself efficient at all? Mm. Yeah, well, it's uh, it's it's. Is there any parts that you do that we have to play the public? Yeah, what well, parts do we have to play? The thing is, I've been in touch with a few media houses, 
And I must say, Linda picks it up and it's been overwhelming. We've been getting calls and messages, I want to be part of this. Mm -hmm. Where can I come in? Is it the Nigerians needs, blah, blah, blah. On Facebook, it's been going viral. We say, hey, please, I want to, where are you, Lagos? I want to come and meet you now. Oh. Interviews, right? Mm -hmm. I have an appointment after this for uh, another uh, newspaper outlet. So people, you know, it, what keeps me going is that, uh, I, you know, people think this is good and it will help. You know, I'm not going to solve the, it's, it's going to be, our individual efforts as Nigerians. But mm. one thing I know is that I believe in Nigeria, I believe in my country, and I believe we, we will get that. I believe Africa is the future. I believe Nigeria is the giant of Africa. I believe in the next century we'll take over the world, right? Mm. But I think it all starts with us. Imagine what little impulse like mine would do to our society. If this guest rolls out, we're thinking about creating jobs over a thousand or more than that. Mm -hmm. You know, you encourage people like me, like myself and the young people that come up. When people see that, Moses did this, he tried to solve a problem, I worked for him, another one comes in. I was, I was in a TV station, it was the last two weeks, and a young man walked up to me and said, you inspired, you just inspired me. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I was just having a conversation, just, you just inspired me, I said, oh, well, well, I said, well, it's time these people start you know, making even us proud to be part of the status quo. Mm. Yeah, because we have a lot to offer. The youth have a lot to offer. There are millions and uh, millions of Nigerian youths like myself, right? But we don't get the chance. So the point now you're saying that is getting the word out. That is the that's, way. That's the, yeah. that's the way that's support the major, and yeah, That's the major we, we, concern now. We've been really touched. People have, you know, lots of people have sent us their CVs. They're really interested in becoming part of the, the company, which is great. Um, but when people said, look, you know, if you can't employ us yet, I'll be happy to volunteer. Mm. Okay. Because you know? okay. so that's how much they've kind of felt about it. Been, and, and when we went um, live on Linda's blog, the, just our email just went boom, 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 boom. And okay. that's, you know, it's made it all worthwhile in a sense. Yeah. But, you know, we, we need to get into every disco. There's 11 discos that we need to get into. Mm. You know, we need them to be working with us. They, we need them to see that this is something that they need, that we all need, and then they're, they're not them. They're they're part of us. Mm. Okay. So yeah, great uh, one. That's another okay, so please, um, can, can we get the number? How do we get in touch with Power Alerts? The number? Do you have the number here? The number? The, yeah, I, I, is, it, I, is it 24 hours? No, actually, the customer market, the oh, customer actually market. we're in the process, we're putting the structure. I'll, 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 very, I'll quickly say that we have gotten a call from one of the discos. Okay. Uh, they've indicated uh, interest in what we want to offer. Okay. Uh, and they're working on a meeting with us now. Okay. You know, uh, but what we want to do is we want to take over, we want to be the face of PHC, we want to be accountable oh. to the Nigerian people on That's what a lot the of responsibility. It is a lot of responsibility, but I, I don't. It comes with a lot. I've had people say it's impossible, but I don't <laughs> like the word impossible, mm, right? Mm, exactly. Because every great ad achievement at, at some time was deemed impossible. Mm. Yeah. All right. So, uh, what's the handle again? Can you spell yeah, out the uh, handle for us? Uh, on Instagram. Yes, yeah. on in Twitter and all of that. Uh, Instagram, I think, is at at Power Lats. Okay. On Instagram. Uh, a lot with a Z. Yeah. yeah at Z. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, on on on. on Twitter is at PowerLats okay. uh, uh, as well. Right. On, uh, on Facebook is www.facebook.com slash PowerLats. And on our email is uh, PowerLats underscore, uh, power underscore alat at iCloud.com. At iCloud. .com. Yeah. Right. Thank I, you I wouldn't want to give out my number because it just it will keep yeah. going. Yeah. 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 Thank, so, yeah. you right. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to you getting to that place you want to get to. Mm. and. Uh, more power. Yeah, they just hope that one, they will get angry that you get okay. one power cut a year and you're angry. <laughs> Jeez, angry. Oh. It's always one of your favorite TV picture programs on, isn't it? It's just, oh, oh. 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 At, that, at that point, oh. I yeah, that. Thank painful. you very much. It's been good to have you on the show. Amanda, yeah. thank, thank you very much, thank Moses. You. Yeah, thank, thank you for you. coming on the show. Mm -hmm. All right, it's been a wonderful Friday episode of the Breakfast Show. Thank you very much for tuning in. Remember, we still got bit the clock. Shout out Friday. Man, steam off. Uh, I think that, you know, scoop also. <laughs> Let's see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.